YouTube, Mika. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about a concert I went to last year, actually. February of 2020, I believe, where I had the wonderful opportunity to see the band Initial L perform live at Katsuka. I dedicate this video to all my fellow Northern Virginia anime fans and J-Rock fans. When I was attending Katsuka, I had no idea that the world would be turned upside down and that would be the last time I got to see a Japanese band. All of you out there who are struggling like I am, those of you who are watching, please hang in there. I dedicate this video to you and I just want you to know that in no time we'll be able to go back to anime conventions and enjoy each other's company. This was my first time at Katsukon and I gotta say I really enjoyed my time there. I initially just went to see Initial L and I wasn't really expecting much. I was like, I'm not gonna talk to anyone, I'm just here to see the band. I feel like that's my general vibe at anime conventions, but then people are really nice and talk to me. I know there's a lot of you out there who can kind of relate to my situation. Not only am I an introvert, but I'm also a pretty shy person, so it's hard for me to talk to people, especially strangers. To anyone who was there, Katsukon Weekend 2020 to see Initial L, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I dedicate this video to you and to all anime fans and J-Rock fans out there because you guys are awesome. You are my brethren and I look forward to the day we can be together at our homes. A home away from home that is the anime convention. For those of you who don't already know, Initial L used to be a band called Likao and back in the day. Yuki, Zero, and Satoshi, the vocalist and the two guitarists in the band, they were the founding members of the band Likao. And later, they were joined by the bassist Hyu and Ichiro. Ichiro. Lika On was a powerhouse of a visual K band. Back when they first formed, which was around the late 2000s, early 2010s, they really were superstars of the visual K world. They've had multiple tours around Europe. They were massively popular for their heavy, dark kind of sound. They did go into a jazzy sort of phase. Most of their popular hits really were their heavier stuff. And they've had multiple singles even hit the Oricon charts, the billboards of Japan. Two of their singles include Camera Obscura and Bakane. Personally, I wasn't that into Likaon at that time. I appreciated who they were. I really do look back to that time when visual K bands could get uh, mainstream success like that. I fully didn't get to appreciate Likaon's sound until I listened to their single Bara back in 2013. That's when I really came to appreciate Yuki's vocal ability. I think it might have taken me a little bit to appreciate Yuki's voice just because he has such a a high-pitched voice but his vocal ability and just the sheer quality of his voice is something I can't deny and something I really do love. Likaon disbanded back in 2015 which is five years already. I can't believe it's been that long. It really does feel like they broke up. Likaon broke up more recently but that's just how quickly time flies. Initially when Likaon did break up I was like okay but then i saw their new project which was initial l and that band was pretty much lee cowan's entire lineup still is their entire lineup minus you at the moment when i first saw initial l their whole band concept and how they were so much less visual k i was like why i acknowledge that some visual k bands out there some visual k performers after a while, they really aren't about the whole like maximum glam visual K look anymore. But I don't know, like a part of me when I looked at Lee Kwan, I was like, you guys are traitor to visual K. After I got to see them perform live, I really realized that Initial L are no less visual K than any other band out there in this in the scene right now. Visual K really is a lifestyle. I remember um, Satoshi and Yuki talking in an interview I watched before I went to the concert. Um, Chaotic Harmony's little 
uh, you know, band interview they had, they talked about how, like, Visual K is not necessarily a look, it really is a lifestyle. And I gotta say, I agree with both um, Yuki and Satoshi. After, like, listening to what they had to say in that interview, as well as getting to see them perform live, I really do think Visual K is, like, a way of living and a way to really make your music. It's more than just visuals. I remember in that video, um, Satoshi and um, Yuki were talking about how like, yeah, they really love the Likaon, like they really do like that kind of music, but with Initial L, they just want to do, try something new, which is valid. I remember in Chaotic Harmony's little Q&A, um, they asked them the question like, what do you feel about your more popper style and satoshi were hey you come see me live we're much more heavy in real life he was completely right i gotta say i went into this concert with preconceived notions but when i was there when i got to attend the concert saturday i really was like proven wrong like initial l sound is just as intense as lika one's sound it might not be like the heavy metal ish sound we we associate with Lika On, but it's nonetheless very good. I really enjoyed their performance. The members just had so much charisma on stage. Yuki's voice is just so powerful. And yeah, he has a higher pitched voice, but I gotta say it's still very rock and roll, if you will. It's such a granny rock and roll. It still has a lot of power is what I'm trying to say. We had so much fun at that concert, guys. Two of my favorite tracks would definitely be my two favorite initial L songs, Need You and Can You Feel It. I personally love Need You just a little bit more. Uh, Can You Feel It was really good as well. Yuki was just so good at like engaging with the crowd. It was just such a mood, like singing along with them. I really do look forward to seeing them in a better venue. I know I say this a lot, but like, you guys kind of have to understand, like, when I get to see Japanese bands, it really is mostly during anime conventions. And those places don't have, like, the best equipment. Like, the Gaylord Hotel, where Katsukon generally is, they do their best, but, like, their venues are not concert venues. I look forward to the day where I can really go listen to these bands in, like, a big arena, like Yokohama Arena or Shibuya OS. The members were so good at talking to the crowd. Satoshi made so many jokes. They really handled themselves very well on stage, which I think is very Visual K. Visual K, to me, means everything for the performance, whether it be the visuals or the way a band performs. I remember at one point during the performance, Satoshi's guitar actually, like one of the strings on his guitar broke, so Yuki had to like entertain the uh, crowd in the meantime, and Zero and y Yuki like chatted about anime for a little bit. The boys look so handsome. I don't know if you guys like have ever met Yuki, but however good looking you think he is in photo times that by quadrillion and that's how beautiful yuki's face is in real life he is the quintessential b show i also really liked their guitarist zero and also their drummer ichiro ichiro is one of the more shyer members when you see him up close he's so good looking even though he's shy in real life he just had such a blast performing i really do love seeing artists on stage guys like i just feel like they have the time of their life so saturday we had the concert and sunday the band actually had a sort of event for us where we could buy special tickets and go spend some time with the members but before that <laughs> we are getting way ahead of ourselves so after the concert which was really fun i had a blast just singing my heart out. We had a little autograph session. I don't know how I feel about them having an autograph session right after the concert. Like, the members are tired. Let them go, like, rest for a little bit. We could do autographs later. But I was still happy to go say hi to the members. I don't know why, but, like, I was... Initially, I was really looking forward to speaking to the band and, like, getting a little Japanese practice in there. But suddenly, like, for some reason, I kind of tensed up a little bit this weekend and I got more shy than usual. I wasn't able to say as much as I could, but I still had a great time. I 
all the members they were so awesome and um i got to flirt with satoshi a little bit guys he was signing my poster and he was like oh that's me and i was like so dial handsome when i said that satoshi got really flustered which was the cutest thing ever and i also got to say hi to ichiro who is becoming one of my favorite members just because he's so cute and so handsome ichiro san sugokata desu ichiban sugokata he like gave the cutest little nervous giggle he was like oh nihongo jose da ne it's always funny when like japanese people compliment my japanese because it's really not that good but like i was like oh no 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 that's not the case at all and i made um i got an adorable giggle from him and his manager who was standing behind it the autograph session was really nice i actually bought this poster um the day of the concert i believe i don't really remember sorry about that guys all right guys so this is the poster i got i hope you could see it if not i'll uh do a little i'll put this on the table and show it to you this is the poster i got uh the day of the concert in that autograph session the members they signed it for me during the autograph session i also got a t-shirt guys but i lost that t-shirt can you believe it i'm still bitter about that like almost a year later i got this shirt for free for katsukan i actually bought vip tickets and they gave us they gave us a whole bunch of free stuff which included this t-shirt so sunday was the event they were having for valentine's day the first thing they did they had a little acoustic concert for us i know i said i really loved their performance saturday i might have to say that i like their saturday acoustic life just a little more there's just something about a live acoustic performance that's just so vibey guys like there's so much ambiance there basically it was yuki uh, satoshi and uh, um, zero there it was just such a vibe guys i love the acoustic guitar i'm such a sucker for it and after the concert the little mini concert we got to play love bingo with the members and at our table was zero so i got to chat with zero a little bit and during bingo it was so funny like satoshi he won like five times which was hilarious because like the members couldn't get any prizes and like at one point i was like satoshi san yamete kudasai which made zero laugh so that was really cute and i actually won one round of bingo and because of that i got a little valentine's day box of chocolates and i also got to take a photo with zero which was so adorable and after bingo we also had a piñata which the members got to hit i don't remember if um the people who like the other conventioners got to hit the piñata but i do remember like at the end they were just like you know just get it and ichiro did like a samurai strike the piñata fell down and after the piñata fell, fell down yuki went and like beat the crap out of it <laughs> i was like it's always the good looking ones isn't it they shared some candy with us which was really nice there was also a mini calligraphy session with ichiro wouldn't you know ichiro actually has a professional like a legit license for calligraphy so he showed us a bit of his calligraphy which was really sweet he wrote like random kanji for us and i believe he wrote someone's name also i don't remember i don't clearly I believe he also wrote like some people's names for that and we ended the session with a cute photo shoot. I was actually the first in line. Which is so funny. Like whenever there's a photo shoot with a J-Rocker, I'm always the first one in line even though I'm such a shy person. Like I would never do that sort of thing in other circumstances, but if it's to be with a J-Rock, I'm a head right out there. And Satoshi actually called me cute during that photo session which after we took the photo, I was like, thank you babies, which is so cringe. Hey, it was just for fun. I didn't mean any harm. And with the end of the photo shoot was the end of the best weekend I've had in a long time. I really am so happy, guys, that I went to see Initial L because little did I know that would have been one of the last times I got to go to an anime convention. Gosh, do I miss going to cons and interacting with my fellow visual k fan and anime otaku brethren yeah just wonderful memories it was a crazy weekend though guys it was so cold so windy 
which we typically have a lot of wind here in Northern Virginia, but that's the last thing I need when I'm trying to like lug equipment up a hill at the National Harbor so I could go get some footage for this YouTube channel. Also during that weekend, Sunday, I got an Airbnb, guys. I actually had a stat exam that evening after the concert, which was, who does that? Who goes to take an exam after a concert? Only Yumiko, guys. But the insanity, I absolutely have no regret. Okay, so that's it for this video, you guys. I'm kind of running out of energy. Who knew talking took so much energy? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more J-Rock. I think this will be one of the last concert reviews I'm gonna do. I have one more to upload. I'll put a link in the description box and somewhere here once I upload that. I think after these concert reviews, guys, I'm gonna also be uploading the raw footage from those concerts as vlogs on my vlog channel. So do look forward to those. But yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments below, do you miss going to anime conventions? Cause I certainly do. And I miss going to J-Rock concert. I've only been to like three in my life, but I had the time of my life and I can't wait till I can go to Japan and go see more band. That's it for me. I love you, giraffe babies. Please take care of yourself. Wear your masks, wash your hands. Stay home as much as possible. I know things are opening up, but the virus is still out there and we're still not at herd immunity. So please do take care of yourself and I will see you later then, giraffe babies. Love you, Kotani family. Bye. Mm -hmm.